Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Lean with BK Forex. First, I'd like to thank you for all the comments under my videos. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Now, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss new content like today's, the five ways that hedge funds make money. In my 20 plus years of trading Forex, I've worked with very, my share of hedge funds, and there are basically five ways that they make money, five specific hedge fund strategies. The first is probably the most popular. It is the market neutral, mean reversion, arbitrage strategy. There are many names for this, but the idea is the same. When prices of stocks or other instruments get out of whack, either hedge funds bet on them returning to normal, reverting to the mean or the average. This can come in a number of different forms. Buying and selling volatility may be something you've heard. If volatility is too high, for example, hedge funds may sell vol, and if volatility is too low, they may buy it, waiting for a big move or an expansion or breakout in volatility or price action. Another example is if gold and silver move in opposite directions in an exaggerated way. Some hedge fund traders may bet on the relationship recoupling going back to normal. Pricing on one instrument uh, in one market, let's say the U.S. exchange, for example, may also be a misaligned with pricing in, say, the London exchange. That's another opportunity that hedge fund traders may jump on, the arbitrage trade. So now you may think, how can I replicate this strategy? I'll admit that this type of strategy is hard for most people, but there are some easy ways to replicate it. One way is to use Bollinger Bands. You may know that I like to use two sets of Bollinger Bands, the third standard deviation Bollinger Band and the second standard deviation Bollinger Band. When the price of an instrument rises above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band on the top side, it is considered overbought. The higher it goes, the more overbought it becomes. Then when it drops below the second standard deviation Bollinger Band, you can bet on the price closing moving closer to the moving average or to the middle of the area, which is typically the 20 simple moving average. Here are two examples using the 15 minute chart. These are short term examples as a, as you know, mean reversion opportunities don't always last long. The first is dollar yen, where you actually see two examples of the pair touching the third standard deviation Bollinger Band and then rising back above to close above the second standard deviation Bollinger Band. The first trade gave about 60 pips, the second about 40. Here's another example in the euro dollar, this time a short, where we see it touch the third standard deviation Bollinger Band and then close below the second for a nice move lower. That's one way that you can kind of replicate some of the tactics used by hedge funds. Then there's the event-driven strategy, one of the most famous being the one billion dollar bet by George, one billion billion British pound bet by George Soros, that the Bank of England would not be able to defend its currency exchange rate mechanism, ERM level. This, of course, is once in a lifetime trade, and more uh, once in a lifetime trade, but more recently, we had the Swiss franc trade where the Swiss National Bank surprised the market by abandoning its Euro-Swiss peg. And then there was the Brexit trade. So these things will happen and can happen, you know, with, throughout the course of time. Now, on a more frequent basis, there are election and central bank trades. Most of us won't, most of us won't consider ourselves as smart, lucky, or as brazen as Soros to put such a big bet against the central bank. But I do love to trade central bank meetings and always well before it or after it. This past week, for example, we sold the Australian dollar, the session after the Reserve Bank of Australia rate decision. Now, I never trade immediately before or in the same session. In this case, I waited until the New York Open because at that point, we've let the dust settle a bit and we've allowed traders to finalize their opinion. The RBA raised interest rates, but suggested that future rate hikes will be smaller. So instead of rallying, Aussie actually weakened on the back of the report, which may be contrary to what some people may think, which is that a rate hike is positive for a currency. But that's the beauty of waiting until the New York session. We don't need to guess. The market's already made up its final interpretation, and we're just riding that move. I sold Aussie CAD in the back of an earlier zip sell signal, and it made a nice move lower. 
And this trade was also supported by the fact that the Bank of Canada was poised to raise interest rates. At the start of the week, we had another trade. The market was bullish euros ahead of the European Central Bank rate decision. There was a nice zip buy signal in euro yen. And as you can see in this chart here, I went long as we anticipated a rate hike from the ECB and the Fed is overall hawkish and boom, some nice, very nice profits here in this euro yen trade. Of course, the euro rally did not last and um, it actually sold off by the end of the week, but we were out well before and we actually flipped to shorts because we saw the sentiment was changed and euro dollar dropped below the zip indicator line, flashing some zip short signals in the process. All in, we made 195 pips trading events on a smaller scale than hedge funds using my zip indicator this past week, but we're still trading in the same spirit as these big players. There's so much I can say about how hedge funds trade, but from my stats, most of you kind of lose interest and wander, and your minds wander off after five minutes. So I want to give you some time to absorb the two different types of tactics that we just talked about. I don't want to overwhelm you in one video. So we'll continue this discussion next week with the three other ways to hedge funds make money. Hit the subscribe button to be the first to know when the next video drops. And if you want to get my zip indicator to trade FX indices and commodities, join us at bk4x.com. There's a special YouTube discount link in the description of this video.